Relay for Life kicked off its 24th annual event today in the Magic City. All tonight, cancer survivors and their families are embraced by the community of Yellowstone County, all to show support for patients and the American Cancer Society who work to treat those very same patients. Good finally Friday evening. I'm Ren Wadsworth. Jumping right into our show tonight, the final festivities for Relay for Life are still wrapping up right now. And our Connor McAvoy is at Billings West High School right now to tell us more about today's events and what's still in store for the night at Relay for Life. Yeah, Ren, thank you so much. All day today, it has been an eventful day here at Billings West High School for Relay for Life of Yellowstone. I got to speak with cancer patients who explained to me why Relay for Life of Yellowstone, what Relay for Life of Yellowstone means for them. It was scary. Colette Wagner was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2001. It took a year of treatment before the entirety of her cancer was removed. It was a front temporal lobe surgery, um, a brain tumor by the name of an oligodendroglioma. Wagner credits her family for supporting her after being cancer free for more than 20 years. My mom and dad and Border Collie got me through it all. Um, I have family members that were there for me also, but yeah, mainly it was my really close family. After her recovery, the family got a little bit bigger with her 14-year-old son, Sam, by her side, attending Relay for Life again today after attending for years. Best thing that ever happened, best person that ever happened to me in life. And while Wagner is cancer-free, she knows there are other survivors who aren't as lucky. It was hard on both of us uh, for the sake of each other. Renee Bile is a Survivors Committee member for Relay for Life of Yellowstone. It's her first year in attendance after her father passed away from lymphoma. For years I felt a lot of cancer guilt. I felt the survivor's guilt and I wanted to get past that with my new diagnosis of being a stage four metastatic breast cancer survivor. She credits Relay for helping her cope with her loss. It's been a really amazing journey for me to kind of outgrow what happened to me and open up to a whole new world and a community that's incredibly supportive. But her story with cancer isn't over yet. Two years ago, I found out that it had metastasized into my bones. So I feel good. We're treatments working and I'm just living life and enjoying everything I can right now. She doesn't know how long she has left, but she's taking her first lap tonight while she's on treatment for the rest of her life. What that life longevity will be, I don't know. It could be another 12 months. It could be another six years. So, but I'm here and let's make the best of it, right? And the festivities are still going on today. Folks have been out here for hours and they're still walking around the track. There's going to be a Luminaria celebration happening in about 30 minutes. And folks are encouraged to still come down to Billings West High School and show their support for the cause. Reporting live at Billings West High School, I'm Connor McAvoy. Ren? Alrighty, thank you so much for that, Connor. It looks and sounds like it is a lot of fun out there tonight. Um, we appreciate your coverage on that. And if you're looking to get out, exercise, and enjoy nature a bit more this weekend, our, Mike, our Mark Haka has a quick look at what you might expect in the coming days. Good evening, Mark. Well, good Friday evening, everyone. The weekend is here and temperatures are arising. Let's start out with high temperatures today. Warmest out to the west, 87 in Missoula, 95 in Lewiston, Idaho, 82 in Billings, 83 in Glasgow, 79 Sheridan, 80 in Glendive. Now, we will see a marked increase in temperatures this weekend. In fact, some places may be nearing 100 by Sunday and Monday. Wind speeds have been generally 5 to 15 miles per hour, although we've had stronger winds in the northeast part of the state where earlier we had a wind advisory for Fort Peck Lake. Right now, we're still looking at some gusts up to near 30 miles per hour in parts of eastern Montana. All right, we do have smoke that has returned from Canada with a northwest flow, so most of us will have a smoky weekend and a warmer one. In Billings, 88 tomorrow for a high. Winds generally 10 miles per hour or less. Missoula, hot one. Temperatures will warm into the 80s by 1 and a high of 92, and you're going to have west winds up to about 10 miles per hour. 
Elsewhere, Great Falls, smoky and hazy. We're going to have winds up to about 10 miles per hour and a high of 88. Now, the smoke is worst in this part of the state, central and north central Montana. In Bozeman, we are looking probably not as smoky for you folks in the south. Temperatures will be warming to 83 degrees. And in Helena, you're going to be up to 88 with winds up to 10 miles per hour. Some of us nearing 100 by Sunday. I'll tell you who and tell you also next week's weather. All righty, thank you for that, Mark. A structure fire earlier tonight sent one man to the hospital after firefighter intervention on the scene. According to Battalion Chief Contrell, a structure fire was started in a house on Morgan Avenue. It was reported that an individual was still inside the house by Billings Police, and they suspected the individual could potentially be armed as well. BPD cleared the house for the Billings Fire Department to contain the fire, and the individual was found unconscious inside and taken to Billings Clinic for their injuries. Police and fire crews are looking into the cause of the fire and have not reported about the firearms presence on the scene as of yet. But we'll share more information with you as it becomes available. This weekend marks the one-year anniversary of the creation of 988, the number that anyone can call or text to get support through the, na the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight, Joey Taylor takes an in-depth look at statistics in Montana and the nation to see how the creation of this lifeline is making a difference. It's a milestone. One year, three numbers, and over five million calls, chats, and texts. 988 has become uh, for those in mental health crisis what 911 is for uh, states of emergency. According to the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services, Montana consistently ranks in the top five states for suicide rates. In the last 10 years, suicide has been the number two cause of death for people between the ages of 10 and 44. And while 988 is being used throughout the nation, a study done in May by the Pew Charitable Trusts says that many still haven't heard of 988 with only about 13% being aware of the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline and know it's there to connect you with a mental health crisis counselor. While the latest data shows more people are calling 988, the Lifeline has been impacted by a shortage of mental health professionals throughout the nation. It makes it doubly tough. Fortunately, we work really hard to make sure that at 988, we continue to build the, the workforce so we can make sure we're answering those calls, texts, and chats. The U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services says work is being done to help those most at risk for mental health struggles, including members of the LGBTQ plus community and veterans. If you uh, signal that you're interested in hearing from someone who understands where you're coming from, we can do that. Veterans, it's the same thing. We have a cue if you're a veteran. Overall, the focus is making sure those calling are getting the help they need. I'm Joey Taylor, nonstop local. Alrighty, thank you for that, Joey. 988 is also available in Spanish, and starting this week, you can chat and text in Spanish as well. And folks, if you or a loved one is struggling, we have more resources posted on nonstoplocal.com. And coming up, a closer look at weather as temperatures continue to rise statewide. A look at the Beartooth Rally happening today through the weekend. And of course, catch up on sports with the charismatic Caitlin McLean. All that and more up next. Get news and weather anytime on nonstoplocal.com. We're on it.